I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, sure. Cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist and you can watch Amos's side of the adventure. Morning. There's something on the lens here. Is it my eyes that are blurry or the camera? <laughs> I think it might be the camera. There. Must have been a little fog on there or something. We have done fairly well. Only issue is my legs are pretty sore today. It looks like finally we're gonna finally we're gonna get a sunnier day. There's a bit of fog right now, but I see blue. But I'm not gonna hike to that spot again today to go fishing. I mean, we've got some fish still left over. Obviously, that was a big fish, the one salmon, and um, maybe find some projects to do around camp. Because my legs are sore, I'm sure, I don't know, Amos, he's, he's a lot younger, but uh, he was saying his legs were sore too from the hiking, so probably just find projects around here. I'm getting a little, a little tired of uh, losing coffee pouring out of this round pot, so I'm going to make a, take a rock and make a dent so that it'll pour better. Here, now I got a spout. So we'll test my spout out. And I'll pour with my left hand because it's the same routine every day. I use my right hand, so I'll use my left this time. That'll change things up. Oh yeah. It's better, but it's still I'll dent it more. I'll make it better yet. Still spilling. Okay, well, I'm going to check my little radish garden again. It's been about four days. Uh, they weren't up last time. That was a couple days ago. So we'll walk up here and see if they're actually poking out would be nice. Sunny day today, so if they are up, they should uh, start growing quickly. More water in here now with all the rain. This pool is a lot bigger now. Hmm. I don't see any. Maybe the seeds are no good. I see one little radish. Okay, yeah. we're setting line on the new reel. So it helps you, you put some tension on this pool. So I'm holding here to keep tension on it. And this is like a blue camo light, a sack sand. And I'm glad he sent it because I'm getting low on my line. And uh, if we get a big fish that does a big run, it can take a bunch of your line on it. And you don't want to get out spooled <laughs> by a big spring salmon. If you put too much, then you can have trouble casting. Uh, but enough, so I have at least 300 yards in there. This is a 30 pound braided line. Never tried this camo blue thing, but that's the that's the options we have right now. It might be good, it might be sneaky on the fish, which is what we need for catching the big ones. They're really experienced fish. Uh, Amos wants to go salmon fishing again. And then later today, I think the plan is try to build a smoker. And uh, I'm on huckleberry duty. So uh, we'll eat these up and I'm gonna see if I can fill this container because yesterday on our hike, we found a real nice huckleberry spot. 
So that's my job today. Looks like a spider made a web in the camera. Yeah, he didn't catch anything, I guess. But we're not suffering as far as food. We've had berries, yarrow tea, horsetail tea, uh, lots of fish, really. We had one day where we didn't have fish. But Almos is a pretty determined fisherman, so I'm sure he'll get something. Um, I haven't done a lot of fishing, but berry duty. Whatever job you have, I guess you gotta do it. Before we head out, you finish the huckleberries. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what I said, tasty. There they are. Get more. Huckleberry picking with Finn. Get out of there! See, now he's getting into the fish. Oh, that's, that's Get out of there! Yeah, nothing uh, on the uh, trail cam. Well, might be Finn now because he walked in front of it. Holy! Look at the size of the waves! So you can see why it's difficult to fish here. Um, these waves, I'm thinking that some of these waves coming in today, this is as rough as I've seen it, mind you, are probably 10 feet tall coming in here. Like how do you cast out and keep a weight at the bottom or fish that? I mean, it's good we found that cove yesterday, even though it was a lot of hiking. I guess we're going back, even though my legs are a bit sore. I'm not going to make it all the way to the cove. Amos uh, will do the fishing and I'll pick berries. And it, This is an awesome place. It really is. Just awesome. Majestic. And when you see these waves, like you just... The power of the ocean, eh? Boy, I'd hate to get stuck out in a storm in a ship out there somewhere. 30, 40 foot waves, imagine. Just these 10 foot waves, you can just envision the power just seeing them crashing in here. So, <laughs> the ocean's a scary place. Well, I found some puff balls. See if they're any good. They look okay. Take a couple of those. These are good. There's something. Another hike to the spot. I don't have to go as far. I'm glad. <sighs> Even though we're eating okay, doing all this hiking starts to fatigue you. I think we're both feeling it a bit. terrain in here well as you see I know uh, Amos likes his bunch berries and I think they're pretty tasteless but there's a group of them growing up the tree here that we can throw in actually these are a lot quicker to pick because they're in groups just grab the whole group and you're done like a big handful already Deep inside the beds of stone. Voice will echo me no fall Rule by the laws above Nature shows me, makes me talk 
Well, I just <laughs> stepped in a big hole here. Fortunately, I didn't hurt my ankle. You know, you can't even, and spilt some of my berries. This jungle can be tricky. You get a spot of moss and weak spots under it. I'll show you where my leg is here. If the branches will let go of anything. Everything grabbing everything. Flipping everything. Got my foot down stuck in here now. Oh, I tell you, this bush is something. Well, I got out of there. I mean, man alive. You can't even see these big holes. And all of a sudden, bang, you're down in one. But I spilt some of my berries, but I still got quite a few. So, should be okay. That's enough of crawling through there. I got a lot more this time than I did last time, but it's just too tough a go, it really is. So I had three big fish, I think they're gonna be able to see on video. I had three big fish follow the lure, but none of them hit it. One of them barely bite it, hit it. Uh, but then I lost the two good lures, and then I put a jig, a pink and black jig. And I was just kind of jigging off the bottom, and I got this guy at the very last minute. So at least we got a little something. something. Yep. Hold right on. A few mushrooms. He got a little sea bass, but um, got some huckleberries. Big deal, right? <sighs> oh, finally back to camp. And again, like I say, the days are so darn short. I can't do these hikes. Uh, I need a couple day break. When I fell in that hole, I like, my knee went right back and I really put pressure on my knee. And so now I'm having trouble with my knee. I can't hike this uh, five miles every day, twice, like both directions, twice. Like I can't even imagine how many miles we've put on on this trip so far don't even want to think about it and this is tough tough terrain the berry picking was brutal comes a point where you just just gotta relax well I'm gonna have some more Euro tea some nice Euro here this is real nice tender stuff like really nice Euro This is uh, beach peas, and they're poisonous. They get pods like a pea. You can see the leaves and the runners look like peas. So stay away from beach peas. I'm looking for one with pods, but... Uh... Okay, well, I've been looking for pods, but I don't see any pods. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that uh, Euro tea really helped my, my cold. Like, I was feeling pretty bad, and then... Uh, and this morning I was feeling a lot better. These these plants do work, you know, it's just like plantain for a cut. Man, it heals twice as quick and it's such a great antiseptic. I was recording an eagle and I let the the thing sink. Oh the yeah. Sink. Oh yeah. And I then just, it got stuck. And I got stuck, yeah. When the time I tried to pull it was like no 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 and then I ripped it. Yeah. So hopefully there is a good eagle shot that's worth losing the lure but <laughs> yeah i don't know man <laughs> well what do you do man i mean hey that's how fishing you know, is huh it's just you know it's not called catching it's fishing while you were scaling the fish i cooked us up a little bit of euro tea and that should get us fully recovered by tomorrow yeah didn't have a lot of water left oh but that's good thank you yeah more for me Nice green tea. I got those mushrooms. We throw. Oh, yeah. I got the puff balls. We throw them in, uh, in the frying pan too. That's great. That's pretty strong tea. Yeah, nice. Did you try it? It's pretty strong Euro taste there. Here comes old Finn. Just happy go lucky. Happy go lucky Finn.
Yeah, it's a nice evening. No much, but it's something. We need a little something. Mushrooms. And a little sea bass. And a little sea bass, yeah. Deep fried mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Ravens got our other fish, man. You know, I took it out of the stove. I set it up on that log. We were going to have it for breakfast, and the ravens obviously took it. So that kind of sucks. That sucks. That was a lot of food. But we catch another one. That sucks. A lot of bones in that fish yeah. compared to some. It's tasty. Yeah. Puffballs are different. They're good. I like that fish. Yeah, that fish is pretty tasty. That white fish. Yeah. Seven fish for you. One for me <laughs> in almost ten days. Yeah, we'll get into the salmon. We'll get into the salmon. Mm -hmm. The giant puffballs are really good. Have you had those? That's the ones we have Cut them in like steaks, yeah? Yeah, the first time I saw one, I was new in college, new in Indiana, first year. And I started walking in my friend's dad's farm. 84 acre farm. It was beautiful, I love it, walking there. In the middle of the forest, there was this giant ball, white ball, and I thought I was tripping. I thought it was magic. I thought it was something crazy out of this world. Because hmm. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. In Salvador, we don't have giant puffball. No. It was like a big basketball. But what a dinner if you had one that size. Oh, you'll have a big dinner, yeah. Yeah, it's too bad the ravens came and got that fish. Gee. I should have known better. I just forgot. To put it back in the stove before we left for the hike to the cove again. It was perfectly safe all night, yeah. and then I left it on the log. Yeah. Forgot to put it back in there after I did coffee, Bummer, and our fish is gone. Been gentle. Just a piece of skin, and I don't want you having these bones anyway. It sucks to have a bone stuck in your throat. Oh. I had that happen before. Did you? Mm -hmm. My grandma had to give me like CPR or like uh, the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> yeah, by a big banana and she's like cut in chunks, say don't chew it, just swallow the banana. Is that and right? I swallow a big piece of banana and that I got it out. It was huh. a terrible feeling. So she knew what to do. Mm -hmm. Grandmas always know tricks. Anyway, if you can see me there. Time to say good night. See you in the morning. We're gonna get up to some projects uh, tomorrow for sure because we have to. We have to get this uh, smoker done for salmon. If we get some, we're gonna get more. I'm almost positive. So anyway, good night. Good night, Jim Bob. I'm gonna have to maybe do something about, I probably didn't need the tarp. All it did was collect a bunch of moisture. I'll show you here, like, it's just dew, and then it drips on me. Or lift it up higher, change the shape of it maybe. Nice day again. That's why you get all the dew, like even this big tarp, got dew all on the bottom dripping 
we're still not sure about a fire ban. We just get misinformation or conflicting information about a fire ban in this region. We don't really have a number of anybody that we can phone to find out. Yeah, we do have a satellite phone. Maybe I'll uh, try to phone Zach and he can try to find out maybe. Because we had a couple of questions that uh, they'll have to research because we don't have <laughs> access to Google out here to find out or answer some of the questions we have. If we have a question, who are you going to call? Zach. No, I think that creek water is fine. With all that rain we had, like it's come up so much and uh, the water looks pretty clear. Um, it doesn't mean it couldn't have bacteria, but we're boiling it anyway. The floor is brand new and it's already oxidized. One day on the water. You see? Look at the hook. Oh, geez, eh? Yeah, One well, day. the salt eats stuff up. So I should just say to Zach, I mean, it's not that we don't want to use your blend of coffee. We're using Folgers here, but something, we think maybe that weasel or that Martin or whatever it was, drugged the coffee off and tore a hole in it and scattered the coffee everywhere. That's why we're not using your coffee, Zach. So I'm gonna just take a walk up the beach here to where my radish garden is and check on it. One radish there. There's another one here. The one from yesterday here, there's two more back here. So my radishes are coming up and then I had um, the paper pieces here. And I see uh, some of them are rooting here. I think I'll try to put some of these ones that have sprouted around and uh, I've got a better chance then of success. But yes, they are coming up. Whether they're going to mature or not uh, remains to be seen. That's part of the experiment. I mean, radishes grow quick. It's a delicate procedure. I'm trying to not break the roots. Or the seed. Wow, that one broke. It's just tough. There, you can see that's just sprouting. That one will go. These will take off really good now. I'm going to try to get the root down and the uh, radish head up without breaking it. All these little germinating seeds. I hate to see any seed go to waste. Uh, I think what I'll do is just collect a little more dirt and make another little spot. Just spread the paper that they came in out and just have another little spot. Whichever ones come up, they come up. The ones that don't, they won't come up. Uh, we're on the west side of Vancouver Island. Hawaii, Japan, Australia. Just a little thing you might want to know. So I'm just kind of thinking that if we put the stove here against the rock, yeah. this blocks already, right? Yeah. We can have two posts here. Yeah. And then going on back. to here. Yeah. And then just block it all in. And look at this log he's got. Uh, you know, he's got to find the biggest log, Finn. Yeah, okay, well, we got a plan then. out of here you can't really see what's underneath your feet salmon berries 
They're prickly. Yep. Heard the rocks rolling. Feet on solid ground. Good to go. Whew. Now I got something in my head. Yeah. Leaf stuck in my neck. Sweating pretty good though. She's hot out here. So I just got back to camp here and in the short time I was gone, her tart blew down. Oh yeah. The corner pulled right out of the tart. That's typical. They don't make anything to last. Everything's just garbage nowadays. Just tore right out of there. I want to make notches here for cross members. need long flat ones, I might have to go somewhere else to find them. Okay, one smaller one in here. Our lid. It's ready for the next big dinner, he says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's nice. sushi that's, quality, man. That's very good. Sushi it's quality. It'll be nice when it's uh, smoked. Yeah. For the heat, I think we're gonna heat up a hot rock to put the chips on. It'll hold its heat longer for the chips. We don't want to run our propane out. I think a hot rock's gonna be better. It'll hold the heat longer. Okay, well, I'm just at the creek here. I'm trying to find a suitable rock. I'm not seeing. Great rocks, really. They're either too thick, too big, not flat. Okay, that's about the best one I found so far. It's about the right thickness, it should hold heat. Pile the chips up on here. We'll get some moss so I can cover it in. And then I gotta build a door that we can remove. Finley chasing flies again. Well, I just want kinda moss like this in strips to plug where my logs don't fit tight kind of like that this is good stuff this is what i'm after i think we might have to use the tarp for the front of it for for now because uh we don't want our fish to go bad because the smoker's not complete 
don't know why you can never get the second strap on a backpack. At least I can't. Been hiking, hiking, I'm telling you, I don't know. I'll bet you we've hiked 50 miles. My knee is killing me now too. And Amos says that his foot's really bothering him too. See how tall these Salal get? Like these ones are 10 feet tall. That's all Salal. Way up above me. Wild. That's why you can't even hardly crawl through this bush. It's just unreal. It is so thick. Pretty big gap here. Just having a cup of uh, fish head soup. I most uh, threw the carcass and the salmon head in. We boiled that up. Now we're ready to uh, start smoking the strips that he cut up. I'm gonna have to use a tarp, like I say, for the door for now. Finn, get away from there, please. It's gonna knock over our fish head soup there. Chasing flies. That is tasty stuff. Mm -hmm. Ah, yum, yum, yum. It is a tough tyke, I know. I don't know if... Well, if you feel like it... My knee is not... Oh, greatest. that's right. Yesterday you did that. Yeah, it's kind of bugging me. Yeah. Just like your foot. My left foot. It's your foot. My knee. Yeah, but that's what happened when you turn 40 and you are out there on the wild trying to catch your dinner. The terrain is... It's tough going. Tough in here, yeah. Like I was going to go and try to get moss over there, mm -hmm. and the Salel is, is eight feet tall, and you what do you got to do? Push your way through it? Like, yeah. Oh, just ridiculous. No way. Nice. Keep the energy nice up. Stab. Yeah. They're perfect right now. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we found some of the blue huckleberries. Mm hmm. I knew they were here, but I hadn't seen any in this area. But we did. Yeah, time flies out here. And the days are getting shorter. You can tell now that it's... Yeah, it's shorter late, late, by late, two and a half hours, or three yeah. hours from summer. So I had this idea of heating the rock up, and it doesn't look like it's going to work. We only have... Uh, limited amount of propane so we don't want to use it up trying to heat that rock up um, we're just gonna throw chips in the frying pan because that and then keep it on low smokers all working smoking away the only thing is we will have to babysit the chips and make sure that we have smoke in there that's the only problem but because we don't want to add too many chips at a time that's the thing so what we had to do for now but it's smoking good oh, me i'm just tired about every 20 minutes i have to go and make sure there's more chips on the smoker another nice sunset Now I got to use a lighter so you can see me, but that was a pretty productive day. The uh, little bit of seeds I planted, I was happy with. Got the smoker just about finished. Uh, I almost caught uh, the two fish, and uh, it's just going great. So we've got a smoker now that uh, we've got some fish going right now. He's going to babysit it for a while tonight, and then I'll get up and uh, keep it going because it should 
really smoke overnight so we're gonna have some awesome smoked fish tomorrow so we'll see you in the morning morning so see what we get up to today I gotta finish the door on that smoker so anyway just checking out the frying pans and our coffee cups and pot and everything there's been mice crawling around and crapping on stuff that's how you get sick is uh, the diseases they carry I don't want that mouse around getting in our stuff so I'm gonna make a mouse trap simple easy method sometimes projects take you longer than you think but get her done just checking on my second little garden and one little radish came up over here another little little guy poking through right there I don't know if we have time but whatever I'm thinking that maybe for the door I can use skunk cabbage leaves Half my chips are flying away. Yeah, most of my chips are flying the wrong way. I'm better to have my pan here and cut over here, I guess. Still didn't make it. <coughs> Maybe if I stand back here. <laughs> One out of three. <laughs> That frying pan may not look efficient with the chips in there, but once it starts to smolder more and more, it fills up the smoker with smoke quite well. Ouch. Okay, right in the face. There's an elder tree. Ow! Oh, ow! Hit my finger. Just to show you this is a soft wood, you can basically just use a knife to chop it. I should have brought a saw. I know you're probably thinking that. And you'd be right. That works just fine with, with alder. Okay. So I was just coming over the log piles before I went in for the alder and uh, there's a mink or I'm not sure if it's a marten or a mink scurrying all through the logs. These two. Approximately pretty well, and it's going to be wobbly. I don't even care about that. One more in the middle. I find that paracord is a very important item to have in the bush. Now I'm going to pull some of my inner strands of the paracord out. Kind of what I want to do is like just layer the leaves like this, not too tight. You don't want to cut through it, like I say. I think what I'll do for the top is I'll just break the leaves about here and fold them over. As a matter of fact, I can even cover this by breaking this one. 
about there. You see how that'll sit? So then I'll put that on the top of the smoker to cover these holes. Right on. Another project just about done. Well, it, like I say, these little projects are taking a long time. I'm gonna go and check on Amos and see how he's making out with his bow. That's quite the project he took on with that bow. I really hope he has success with that. I really do. How's the project going? Oh, slow. Slow, yeah. This maple is soaking wet, full of water. Uh -huh. It was part of a living tree. We didn't take down the tree or nothing. We just took a little sapling off it. There were a bunch of them. And we got one that was pretty straight and uh, going pretty well, I think. I did some reduction. Uh, oh, this yeah. is gonna be the back of the bow. And this is gonna be the belly of the bow. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm glad you know how to make them because I don't. Oh, it's, we'll see if they happen, man. It's a big experiment. Yeah, but yeah. hey, if it all comes together, it'll be epic. It'll be pretty epic. If it comes together, it'll be cool. So oh, we'll yeah, see, man. I'll try, I'll try it. <laughs> okay. I think this salmon's done, man. Awesome. Nice. We're good to go, man. Dinner. Very good. A bit more smart flavor would be nice. But it's hard to uh, do a proper job of smoking using chips and a Coleman stove and a pan. You don't get the amount of smoke you really want. We had some really good smoke yesterday, though, for a while. But we had the pan loaded with chips. Mm -hmm. Um, we're getting by. Mm -hmm. Barely. We're barely <laughs> getting by here. Every day's a struggle. <laughs> we're suffering with the great salmon. outdoors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're suffering with the. Good thing he knows how to catch fish because uh, we'd be starving. <laughs> it's not too dried out though. I think it's about right. I think it's get out of here, Finn. No, because you had the can of food just a minute ago. We'll see. <laughs> Teasing Finn. Yeah, good job on the smoker, man. Yum. It's the best protein right here. Yep. Could collect some of that salt you're talking about. We could brine mm, it for a little bit. We can brine it. I saw good patches of salt up in the rocks. I should go do that. Stay tuned for the next episode where Amos catches more fish again. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna catch them there, man. We will. That was fun. I, I really would like to catch a spring or yeah. a Chinook. Yeah, so we have to go in that canoe trip. So I'm gonna head over here and get the uh, trail cam that I've had up here. We haven't really got any action on the trail cam as far as anything coming up the creek here so i think i'm going to set it somewhere on the logs here because we got that martin i think it's a martin but i don't know man maybe it's a mink it's not a fisher but it's one or the other he's probably hanging around camp because smells our fish i don't know that's one problem if we go anywhere and we got the smoker going or something he could get in there and <laughs> take our cash that wouldn't be very creamy and uh, no sign of bears here there's lots of scat i shouldn't say there's no sign but we haven't seen any here you know we really didn't get a lot accomplished today some days we just don't have a lot of energy some days we do good I think tomorrow we're gonna have to go salmon fishing um, I'm gonna go with Amos and try myself as well because uh, I haven't caught any fish really this trip one in the beginning and then I'm gonna build my set line so that'll be tomorrow all right well 
I'm going to hit the hay. Tomorrow's another day. And hopefully we get some salmon again tomorrow. Right on. See, as soon as I turn the lighter off, you can't really see me anymore. In some ways, maybe that's good. Amos Rodriguez Survival and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft are brought to you by Fowler's Makery Mischief Studios. Check out our shop here. And for the next video in the series, hit the link here. And don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft here. And thanks for watching the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Vancouver Island.